Nated Renson Mulele Igonga as the next Director of Public Prosecutions, the Head of State has forwarded Igonga's name to Parliament for vetting. If approved by the National Assembly, Mulele will succeed Nuruddin Haji, who sat for five years as DPP. Ayub Abdikario reports. The Head of State picked Igonga from a list of 15 individuals interviewed for the position by the Public Service Commission Selection Panel on the 1st and 2nd of August. He was among the names forwarded to the president. However, one more hurdle awaits Ngonga. Parliamentary approval before he succeeds Nurdin Haji, the country's top spy as the director of public prosecutions. The position of the DPP fell vacant after Haji was appointed by President William Ruto as the director general of the National Intelligence Service, NIS. Haji served as DPP since August 2018. The tenure of office of the DPP, according to the Constitution, is a non-renewable eight years. Before his nomination, Ngonga worked as an assistant director of public prosecutions. If approved by the House, Ngonga becomes the third director of public prosecutions under the current constitutional dispensation. The race for the next DPP attracted stiff competition. Among those who appeared before the Solicitor General Shadrach Mose led panel included two senior assistant directors of public prosecutions, Jacinta Nyamosi and Tabita Wanyama, who also presented their credentials before the select panel. Former Commissioner of the now defunct Electoral Commission of Kenya, Thomas Letangule, and David Ruto from the Ethics and Anti Corruption Commission were also interviewed by the panel. The DPP selection panel was made up by seven members, including the Central Organization of Trade Unions Boss Francis Atwoli and the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission Chief Executive Officer Twali Mbarak. Ayub Abdekadir, Citizen TV.